So we finally got the YZ250 back from powder. Well, the frame and swing arm anyway. Got all the parts laid out. A lot of new parts, some old, some stuff be salvaged. Tried sandblasting, I think I said that before. Sandblasted the casings and stuff, but it definitely cleaned it up. I probably wouldn't do it again. It wasn't actually sand, it's glass or some sort of uh, blasting material, but still did a good job. It was just really, really hard to clean. Still a few spots. I did the, didn't want to do the head. I just did the casing, so. See how that goes. She definitely came out pretty clean. It looks real nice in the black frame there. So typically stock, they're silver. So YZ125, pretty much same platform. Acerbis, big tank. I wanna say it's three, three something gallons, so it's gonna give us, give me a lot more run time. We got new drivetrain, all new drivetrain. I got the works rads, keep it a little cooler in the trails. That's all we really do. New triple clamp for it, different little parts here and there, some bearings for the headset and the swing arm. I'm pretty pumped with how that looks. That looks pretty fresh in there. Nice fresh black, gloss, gloss black. This was a uh, precision powder coat in Burnside, Nova Scotia. They do all my powder for, for big stuff. Anything I can't fit in my own oven here, I got a little convection oven, little powder booth. So I'll be doing all my own little parts like the foot pegs and kickstart and kickstand and just little stuff. Just gonna go black with everything blacked out. But yeah, pretty pumped with, with how she's coming together so far. All the parts are here, so definitely gonna be uh, keeping you guys posted on this one, keep you updated, and uh, yeah. So I'll get the linkage all on, swing arm on, shock. A few other things, just wiring, got the rads on. So she's pretty much, she's coming along, that's for sure. Just gonna throw the forks on tonight, I think. Subframe and air box. And then, uh, so I think I'm gonna be doing the gas tank. Everything I need to get this guy on tonight, so. It's a big oversized tank. It's three gallon over the almost two gallon stock one, so. Get a few more kilometers out of it. Should be good. These rads are pretty dope. Lingers. So we got on her so far. She's looking mean. What's up, guys? Back in the garage tonight. Gonna go with the YZ. It's turning out sick. Really happy with the uh, going all black with the frame and stuff. And I have a small powder coat system here, so I'm able to do a lot of the small. I did like the foot pegs, brake lever, kick kickstart, and. Uh, did the shifter, kickstand, all the little stuff that I can kind of fit in my own oven. Um, sent the frame and swing arm to Precision to get them do that. They do big stuff over there, so. But, uh, man, it's looking sweet. I know I said that probably about 10 times already, but I'm just, I'm being honest. I'm really, it's one of those builds that you do, and as you're kind of going through each process, you like, it's kind of every step of the way it's coming more and more into to life so I'm pretty pretty happy with it so far I got the little bit of stunt on the dirt bike got the righteous on there the easy pull lever on it just makes a world of difference it's nice and easy less arm pump less fatigue and uh, gives you a little bit better feel per personally I find in the woods so and then yeah like I was saying so I'm gonna go with these tonight picked up the tubeless system here done them once before they are a little funky the first time but if you're in trailing and into really really rocky and sharp stuff these are really nice to have can compare to your just your regular tube system. This I run this, I run the tubes in the front. I've never really had an issue with front uh, flats. Um, the rears a lot, just because I smash stuff. <laughs> so, but uh, with the tubeless, um, you're actually able to run zero to 10 PSI in the, in the carcass. 
And uh, now I say tubeless, and I'm sure people will be like, there's a tube in there. But you are correct, there is a tube. So what this inner tube does, uh, this will sit in the seat of the rim, kind of right above your spokes. And uh, so you put this on first, get it seated in the center of the wheel. And then once you're done that, uh, you put the tire on and you get the tire on, seated on the bead. And what happens is this inner tube here uh, expands and pushes on this red, it almost looks like a, a pedal bike uh, road tire. It's, it's basic, it's got its own little bead and it's, it feels like another tire. I mean, it's even got the little tits on it. Um, and so what happens is this actually creates a bead lock around the whole inner shell of the tire. And what that does is it creates an airlock between this inner ring and the shell of the tire. So you're actually able to run uh, zero to 10 PSI. And uh, these, these systems are really, really cool. Um, I was skeptical in the beginning. I thought it might have been because they're not cheap. They're about 170 bucks uh, Canadian. But honestly, um, I've had no issues with mine. Uh, well, not this one, but the one that was on my YZ before. Um, I did have one small hiccup once, but it was kind of my error. And I don't really think anything would have saved it. But there is a piece of rebar sticking out from like a... A bridge or a piece of log or something and it went in through the tire and the carcass and actually popped the smaller inner tube um, but why I think nothing would have survived it was it actually took a gouge out of the inside of the rim like something that you could actually like pick with your nail on your finger so it definitely hit something hard but aside from that they work pretty cool or they work they work really good and they're a pretty cool system new build update on the old girl she's pretty much a roller right now just doing the plastics putting the graphics kit on the plastics right now so she's looking good so fired up the other night for the first time getting it all the motor broken in and just doing a couple heat cycles with it so but aside from that, she's ready to go. Front brakes on it the other night, bled them. Front forks on, did the front shocks, or for the, rebuilt the front forks there the other night. All new seals and fluid in them, so pretty pumped. Can't wait to get out on this thing. It's gonna be a whole new machine. Okay, we're at Sam's. We're gonna go help him build his uh, dirt bike. He's been asking me for probably about a month now. Hopefully he doesn't notice. Yo, yo, what's, what's up? up? What's up, what's up? Oh, what? What the hell, man? I know. You didn't even wait for me? No, no. Just like, like that. All the parts are on it. Yeah, so, uh, real talk, this is sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the kit came out good. Once Mot again, MotoCal. Yeah, MotoCal, link, link in the description always. Yeah, Mel did all these yesterday. She stuck them all on, did yeah, she? Yeah, she's, she's a wizard with that. And I love I get, how, I like... frustrated and end up tearing them and then it looks like crap but she takes yeah, it she, well she did a good job on her bike yeah. so you know that she's gonna do a good job on yeah so she did all these yesterday and i was just plopping them on one by one and, and i like how one side's got the green one side's got the red yeah and this is like grip that's cool um well actually what it is is they have to vent it for the gas tank all right because gas tanks seep yeah so if you and that's another difference too between the cheap kits and uh the moto cal is they uh the cheaper ones don't so what'll happen is after like two or three runs and the gas tank expands i mean it's kind of nice get, too because it like it gives you a little bit of uh, a yeah, little bit of grip too on the you get a bunch of bubbles in them and it just kind of looks crappy so. yeah right right but these ones are all man. and the forks though wait what is this are these covers they're just covers yeah oh man that was a good touch yeah better than trying to well so the them. dilemma was yeah that was the dilemma the, they were pretty pitted like the clear and stuff was starting to come off yeah right yeah you can see up close so it looks really really crappy kind of up high so i wasn't sure what i wanted to do and then price note anodizing is ridiculous yeah so and yeah this not is even like worth a it trail bike that i'm gonna beat the hell out of so man I didn't it's, really a, want to it's a shame you're gonna beat the hell out of this it's yeah so nice, man. <laughs> it's so nice dude 
Well, too bad it's like minus 10 out. I know. Can't I even know. ride it. She's got all the heat cycles fired right up. Man, it's sweet. Oh, it did fire up. Oh, right away. Oh. That was like the the icing on the cake. Fire it up. It's gonna get smoky in here. It'll probably fire for fifty dollars. Just fire it for a second. We got it. We got to show the viewers that it works, so they don't think it's just not real. <laughs> yeah, it's all nice, but it doesn't run. Yeah, it's all for show. It's ready. Yeah, she's ready to rip. So uh, yeah, if you want to see us wreck this, hopefully not. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Yeah, we'll get one run, one run out of it. One good nice run. And, yeah. Nice and uh, clean, and then that'll be it. That'll be it. So make, make sure, <laughs> make sure you subscribe so you can check that run out. Yeah, for sure. Until next time. Peace out. Peace. Watch me.